The last method we are going to talk about is regression discontinuity. And this is a method that can be implemented if we have a variable w, which is decisive in deciding whether or not uh, individuals get a treatment. And our y variable is here. And here we have a cutoff. And individuals to one side get treated, in this case, the lower side, whereas on the other side of the cutoff, um, you have those who do not get treated, so they are in the control group. Let's say that we have a treatment which affects a y variable, and we have the w variable, which is decisive on deciding who gets treatment or not. We have the w naught, which is the cutoff, and just be be aware that either side of the cutoff can be the treatment group. So the treatment group can be those to the right or to the left of the cutoff, but the control group have to be the opposite side. So then if we have this cutoff, then we can compare individuals Let's say that we have data, right? Then we can compare the individuals to the right of the cutoff and to the left of the cutoff. Then if this is the treatment group and this is the control group, we can do this. Then we can compare the averages of these two groups, right? But if the effect of W on Y is continuous, which would say that if we have W here and we have Y here, then you should kind of see a jump in the outcome. And this jump is the estimate of the uh, treatment effect. And in this example, the cutoff in W0 is 2, and the jump in the population regression line on either side of this um, cutoff is the effect of the treatment. So here we have fitted a regression line, the population, or this is the population regression line. It's not a fitted line. So, and you see that the slope here is the same for the two lines. And this slope is the, um, the coefficient on the w variable, okay? And this, uh, this uh, uh, effect of the treatment, it's the slope uh, or the coefficient, the coefficient on the uh, treatment variable, right? So this is the beta one and this is the beta two. And you see here that the effect of the treatment is this jump in the, uh, the regression line. And the reason why you would um, use the regression line is that then you would use all the data points to fit your model. If you only used data points which were close to the cutoff value, 
then you would have only some few data points to base your um, analysis on. To get an idea behind the regression discontinuity method, we can look at Thistlethwaite and Campbell. And they ask, what is the effect of college scholarships, which are grants or stipends, on students' earnings later in life? So then they would look at earnings and they would look at um, uh, the uh, stipend, but the uh, scholarship was awarded uh, based on the exam result. And those who score 75 or more, they get the scholarship. So these are in the treatment group, and it, it includes 75. And 74 and below are not in the treatment group, so they are in the control group. The idea behind regression discontinuity is just to compare those who just made it. So those who just made the treatment group, which are those with uh, exam results 76, and those who did not make the cut, which are those with uh, exam results of 74. And the W0, the um, cutoff uh, number is 75 and this is W and this is earnings and if you look at the mean of these two groups then the difference between these means would be the causal effect of the treatment which in this case is scholarship. And the reason why we could compare those is that uh, these results, the 74 and 76, they are such uh, uh, close, they are so close compared to the natural um, standard deviation uh, of the uh, grades, uh, which means that uh, by pure chance, uh, students would fall into one or the other category. In this course, we are considering two types of regression discontinuity. One is the sharp discontinuity uh, regression, and one is the fuzzy regression discontinuity. In the sharp uh, regression discontinuity, uh, which is the same as in our example, if you have a cutoff then of W0, then one side is the treatment group and the other side is the control group. Whereas in uh, the fuzzy regression discontinuity, the cutoff influences the probability of treatment. So you have a cutoff, but you have like more probability of getting a treatment here, but it's not absolute. Okay. And likewise, it's more probable that you get um, put in the control group if you were to to the left of the uh, cutoff in this case, but it's not absolute. So the cutoff influences the probability of treatment, but uh, the probability of treatment is also um, affected by other variables.